In-depth football coverage from The Athletic is now just £1 per week. See the link in the description to sign up today. Athletic Club inhabit an unusual place in modern football. Since 1919, in support of the club's pursuit of Basque autonomy, every player representing Athletic has either been born or raised in the region. It's a self-imposed limitation that would seem to restrict Athletic's ability to compete in the modern era, and yet, alongside Barcelona and Real Madrid, they are one of just three founder clubs never to have been relegated from La Liga. It's a rich tradition and a record of which they are rightly proud. It also provides the club with a unique claim over the game's more old-fashioned qualities, such as loyalty and service, and the kind of agency needed to establish something as unusual as their One Club Man Award, which, over the last five years, has recognised players from all across the world who have embodied those virtues. So, the first thing to say is that this is a modern creation. The One Club Man Award only dates back to 2015, and a second award, the One Club Woman, was established in 2019. In both cases, the awards seek to reward players whose trajectories in a single team represent values that Athletic Club considers attached to their identity. Beyond loyalty, those values include responsibility to the club's culture, respect for the supporters, and more obvious virtues like commitment and sportsmanship. The only prerequisite, of course, is that the individual spent their entire professional career in the same place. Now, the inaugural winner was Southampton's Matthew Letizia, who decorated the Premier League with some of the finest goals in its history. Letizia is one of the most famous examples of a player who remained loyal in spite of opportunities to go elsewhere, but his recognition also involved a subtle nod to history, and involves the story of how Athletic Club themselves came to play in red and white stripes. You see, the club was founded by migrant British shipbuilders and coal miners in 1898 and originally wore blue and white shirts. In 1909, club member Juan Elodoy was abroad in England, having been tasked with bringing back 25 Blackburn Rovers shirts on his return. He was unsuccessful, but he improvised while waiting for the ship home at Southampton Docks. Now, the legend is a little foggy. Some sources claim that Elodoy remembered that the locals' team colours were also those of his native city. Others suggest he just grabbed what he could find before boarding. But whatever the truth, 50 Southampton shirts made it to Bilbao, with 25 of them heading south to a pair of Basque students who had started a club in Madrid. Athletic Club and Atletico Madrid have both worn red and white stripes to this day. Letizia collected his award in April 2015. He and his wife made the trip over from England before spending the day with club officials and meeting the first team. He was then presented his award on the San Mamés pitch, a half-time of the La Liga game against Real Sociedad. Now, in the years since, the gravitas of the occasion has grown, so too the list of recognised names. In 2016, AC Milan great Paolo Maldini was celebrated after wearing the famous red and black stripes for almost a quarter of a century. In 2017, German goalkeeping great Set Meyer was on it. Meyer was one of the finest keepers of his or any other generation, making over 600 appearances for Bayern Munich before moving into a coaching role with the club. By the time of his retirement, he'd spent 50 years working for Bayern. In 2018, former Barcelona captain Carlos Puyol was chosen, and the year after it was the late great Billy McNeil, who captained Celtic's European Cup winning side of 1967. His daughter received the award at San Mames in May 2019, a few weeks after Jock Steen's legendary centre-half had sadly passed away. And in the same year, the Women's Award was presented for the first time. Marlin Mostrum was recognised for winning over 100 caps for Sweden, her service to Umeo Ake, and the two Champions League trophies she won over 11 years. 2020's ceremonies are yet to take place. Frankfurt's highly decorated midfielder Pia Wunderlich, who won three European Cups, six from Bundesliga titles and a World Cup with Germany will receive the Women's Award, with Manchester United icon Ryan Giggs due to collect the men's, as and when global conditions allow. The One Club Man and Women's Awards are a rare case of a football team celebrating those beyond its walls. It's a tribal game and anything non-partisan is unusual. But its subtext, which is described in a document titled The Principle of Origin, published on the club website, is a not-so-subtle commentary of the state of the game and a glorification of values that Athletic Club hold dear. 
It talks of the changing profile of supporters and how the craving for trophies supersedes all else. It also deals in highly Corinthian themes, referring to the importance of style over performance and how the importance of locality and culture has been lost within the Superclub era. And where are the last one club men of PSG and Manchester City, it asks. Not as an accusation, but in regret over something that their club continues to stand for, but which elsewhere is becoming increasingly unusual. In their own way, the essay continues, all the recipients of the One Club Man Award have demonstrated a real connection with the region of their club. This is what the award seeks to honour, virtues which seem to have been lost along the way as football has taken a different path. Tifo is delighted to be able to offer full access to The Athletic now for just £1 per week. Read in-depth coverage of your favourite teams across 10 different sports, provided by some of the best sports journalists in the world. Follow the stories that you care about with closer access and intelligent takes. Whether it's sports news, tactics or finances, you'll find it all on The Athletic, alongside a host of brilliant podcasts dedicated to different teams. So, see the link in the description now. Thanks for supporting TiVo and of course watching today's video.